everybody. Welcome to episode six of the Grizzly Show podcast, When You're at Adams. My name is Riley. My name is Taya. I'm Drake. I'm Gabriel. And today we're going to be talking about The Adams Family, which is our school musical that is opening in a week. Yes. So Adams Family is about the iconic character Wednesday Adams who falls in love with the boy named Lucas, and she tries to avoid telling her family about this secret by keeping more secrets and lying. And it just, it, it gets all complicated and crazy. Chaos ensues. Mm-hmm. It's a classic twist on that old show, The Addams Family, so I think it's it's really cool. It's, it's really, it's really cool. <laughs> we've had we've had a lot of fun putting the show on. Each of us, we we have a pretty good variety, pretty good mix of people in here. Uh, me, for example, I'm playing a lead role, and I'm also a student choreographer. I actually play Wednesday Adams, so I'm also a lead role. Mm-hmm. I have helped create the costumes for the show. I was set crew building and making the set is always fun. It was. Um, at least on my end, it was very chaotic for, for a good portion of it. It was so. pretty chaotic. Um, um, <laughs> there, were, there were a lot of points uh, in the choreography process where me and my partner just kind of looked at each other and just had a meltdown moment of just like, oh my gosh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to get this done in time? But yeah, I, it's done now, and I'm genuinely so excited mm-hmm. to share it with everyone. Yeah, for me, it was really weird because this has been my first lead role ever, and so... I was experimenting with different things this time because I had to learn lines and I had to learn songs instead of just dancing and focusing on one thing. Mm -hmm. It was weird for me too because I'm normally an actor and so this go around I thought I would get some experience in the technical production and it was interesting because I learned a lot and did a lot that I never thought I'd ever do. Hey Ty, quick question. When, because you were, this is your first lead role as you said, being a weed role in a musical, is that different or is that better to be your like first real like huge theater experience? Um, it, def- it definitely was. So I got to make more relationships with more people as opposed to just with ensemble. And so I got to talk with the techies and our crew members and I got to talk with the other leads and I got to talk with our choreographers and the ensemble members and so it was just a really great experience by connecting with a lot more people than I usually do. It is honestly such an amazing experience. Uh, very chaotic, especially if you're doing <laughs> uh, two responsibilities on top of yeah. all of your yeah. schoolwork. And then on top of that, I'm a senior, so I have college stuff and work on top of that. But genuinely, I couldn't have asked for a different experience. And I wouldn't. Uh, it was, it's been such an amazing experience. Yes. And I think all the techies can agree with me. When you're a techie, you don't just have one job. You're always helping. And so it's a huge team effort to put something like this on because it's so big, but it is genuinely a lot of fun. Um, Speaking of putting this thing on, uh, how was the process of building the production? I will say the process is fun, especially since you're like, what it was starting from the ground up, building like watching the show come to life and creating what's around you there's definitely some points where some people mess up and there's points where people can't really may put themselves in situations where they're in harm's way for example a big part of the show was putting together 10 walls which are massive in scale 10 feet tall you're driving them around on like wheels and then they're supposed to move around the stage that way the set pieces are quick and smooth transitions and when you're rising them up they can kind of collapse in on themselves so when they collapse in on themselves there was a point where one of our other techies was in the shop lifting the wall up and the wall had started to fall on him so he's one-handed and holding the wall he's holding the wall (laughs) As this thing's like sliding down and trying to like basically destroy everything in front of it, (laughs) and you see Perry (laughs) such. Perry is our tech director for context. Wonderful, wonderful woman. Amazing. Getting credit, please take tech Amazing. (laughs) And Perry's starting to panic, and I have to rush over and help him put the wall standing straight <laughs> because he's at this point he's lost the like control in his arms and he's actually like the wall is pivoting on his head <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah it can be a very stressful situation especially when you put yourself in potential danger but i also think 
It's a huge creative outlet and you really learn about your creativity, especially being on costumes and, you know, getting to sew and getting to paint clothes and really work with fabric and different things and take measurements. It's just a different realm of things that someone who's normally an actor is not used to. <laughs> when he says paint clothes, he literally means, means spray <laughs> paint, go outside. Um <laughs> It, you know, you'll learn a lot. It's, it's, it's a very interesting. <laughs> um, it's very interesting um, as far as uh, the, like, going back to choreography. Again, there are, like, times where me and my partner, like, there, there have genuinely been times where we start laying down on the floor and then laughing to the point where we're crying because we're just, we don't know what to do. But then you get to the point where we're at now and you're just seeing everybody take the work that you've done and just breathe life into mm-hmm. it and it just looks so amazing with the set and the costumes yeah. and then all the work that everybody's done has come together it just it's really magical there definitely is magic in the theater there was one point in the show where well, i guess it wasn't in the show we took a field trip to blend college who was also putting on a production of adam's family we left the school like right after first period we entirely missed the first act. We almost missed the first we act. We almost so we were missed about the first act. Minutes, so. uh, by the time we finally got there, we they wouldn't even let us in. They wouldn't let us in because so the show had already started. So we walked in, and there was an usher who came out, like like panicked and almost annoyed. He was like, "Yo, stop! You can't come in! You can't come mm-hmm. in!" And we were just like, "We're sorry." <laughs> yeah. It's... Um, but we ended up getting in to see it, and it was genuine. It was a really good production, and uh, it helped us see where we were at in our own show, seeing a, a pretty much completed version of the show. And it was a, it was a really good uh, experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, being in a production like this, a lot of it is about the experiences and the connections that you make. And our director has done a really good job at getting us really well-rounded in everything that we're doing. It just proves how much we love this show and like we won't let a fire stop us no, from no. So we are so our... excited to yeah. put the show on for you guys. So if you are interested in coming to see us, our show dates are November 13th, 14th, and 16th. Tickets are $10 online and 12 at the door. And you can buy your tickets right now at the Square Up store, which will be in the link in the description. It'll be squareup.com slash store slash bring dash high school dot H S dash theater. Um so, like, we genuinely yes. thank you so much for listening and we hope to see you again. Yes, thank you. Bye.